a guy that's really helped out, not just in the past, Phil, but I think it's become a real nice force in the run is Drew Astorino. Yeah, uh, Drew actually is tackling in space as good as I've ever seen. And I noticed when he comes up to support for the run, I, I can't name the number of times you've seen Astorino make a tackle at the line of scrimmage. We know what he's done out there with Nick Suke. I mean, the bond that Stupar and Hodges have that was mentioned in John's piece, Suke and Astorino have too. Yeah, those are the two leaders of the secondary right now, especially with Lynn, you know, missing a couple of games with a concussion. But right now, think about it. They had 17 turnovers last year total. Yeah. They already have 17 turnovers, yeah. and they lead the Big Ten going into the Northwestern game with 11 interceptions, Steve. Phil, do, we could talk about the rest of the defense, and of course, Still and Hill continue to be Still and Hill. What about the defensive ends? Are they getting enough production out of them to make a greater impact in the game? You know, I, I thought they played well, honestly, I, I, last week against Purdue. They didn't get the sack, but if you, if you go back and check it out, they, they were putting constant pressure on Turbush, the, the Purdue quarterback, and a lot of times, just as he was ready to deliver the football, uh, Stanley or Crawford was there. I, I felt Crawford might have had his best game of the season so far against Purdue. In fact, you look at the stats, he had one tackle in the game. Right. Stats don't tell his story. He was actually a force in the game. Now, the prep for Northwestern. Well, Drew Astorino's been down this road before, and he tells us all about facing the Northwestern Wildcat attack. I think, you know, they, they run a lot of spread. Uh, Northwestern runs a lot of zone, zone read, and uh, they're quick, you know. Uh, Northwestern has some really quick guys, and Purdue has some really fast guys today. So, like I said, we're just going to have to go watch the film, fix uh, what we need to fix, and move on to the next game. And they'll make that adjustment up front because they know Hill and Still will make adjustments. They're going to have to account for them, especially in a game like this. Yeah, and uh, there's, yeah. there's no question, Steve. That, and they got to be aware of that because the skill people, especially with Persa, with the Northwestern football team. Now, you look at Penn State when it comes to freshmen. And over the years, several freshmen have stepped up. In fact, the first ever to play, I talked to him on Saturday, Jim Cephalo. He was there, the Miami Dolphins play-by-play -play guy. And because they weren't playing until Monday night, I talked to Jim for a little bit. Anna Stefano looks at this year's crop of freshmen following in the foots, uh, feet of a Jimmy Cephalo. Coach Paterno has long supported eliminating freshman eligibility, but this season a crop of talented underclassmen have proven themselves useful on the field. In week one against Indiana State, freshman cornerback Adrian Amos showed that he wasn't the average newcomer. He caught everyone's attention by returning an interception for 46 yards. When starting cornerback Danton Lynn went down against Eastern Michigan, it was no surprise that Amos took his place on the depth chart and had solid performances against Indiana and Iowa. Coach Paterno was impressed by Amos' ability to step up. Obviously, the, the true freshman is a talented kid, Amos. So we, had, that, that, we were lucky, if you want to call it luck, that when we lost those kids, we had people that we felt could, could fill in. Other freshmen who have seen playing time are kicker Sam Thicken and wide receivers Allen Robinson and Bill Belton. And while their numbers don't jump off the stat sheet, their time on the field shows that even Paterno will give deserving freshmen a chance. When asked about Thicken, kicker Anthony Ferris said that he's making progress in practice. He's, you know, he's coming along at first. You know, he's a little, you have to get comfortable with like the timing and, you know, how fast you have to get to the ball. But, you know, he's, he's got a good leg and, you know, He's getting more comfortable every week, and he's just getting better every week. For most players, freshman year is a transitional period, but for others, it's time to step up. Freshmen aren't usually the biggest playmakers, but putting them in games can help build confidence, experience, and depth at the position. From outside of Beaver Stadium, I'm Anna Stefano for the Blue-White Tailgate Show. And you haven't even seen Sean Oakman, Deion Barnes, or Ben Klein yet. This is a yeah. pretty good freshman class he has. Yeah, well, that, and don't forget about Donovan Smith Donovan on Smith, offense. Yep. There's a young man that's a rec right now, second team in the depth chart left tackle. Well, a guy who played as a freshman and had to step into the Orange Bowl as a freshman when Paul Pozzozzi was hurt, a guy named Sean John Lee. Well, he's moved on to the National Football League, and he is having himself a one whale of an early career. I'll sit down and talk with Cowboys linebacker Sean Lee after this.
W.R. Hickey is your master distributor for top-selling imported beer like Labatt's, direct from Canada to W.R. Hickey, and premium Beck's beer, brewed under the strict German purity law of 1516. The unique, refreshing flavor of Ho Garden and Stella Artois, made with only the finest natural ingredients from Belgium. As always, let our beer runners bring your favorite imports right to your car. W.R. Hickey Beer Distributor, your master distributor for Labatt's, Beck's, Ho Garden, and Stella Artois. For over 33 years, Lion's Pride has offered high-quality Penn State sportswear and gifts and exceptional service to fans and alumni. We offer products from Nike, Cutter and Buck, Gear, Columbia, Under Armour, Legacy, and many more. Stop in at Lion's Pride directly across from Old Main or visit us online at lions-pride.com. Lion's Pride, 112 East College Avenue, State College.